What is going on, fellas? In today's book review, we got The Chat GTP Millionaire by Neil Dagger. So he tells you all the different ways that you can use it to make money, improve your business, and automate a lot of the tedious work that you normally have to do. So <clears throat> had a couple of random facts of me in the videos or other me in the book. It says 70% of lottery winners end up bankrupt. Getting money without knowing how to invest, it won't make you wealthy and it won't make you financially free. ChatGTP hit 1 million users in five days. For comparison, it took Netflix three years, Twitter two years, Facebook 10 months, and Instagram 2.5. And this hit it in five days. Granted, nowadays we have cell phones, we can all download apps easier and faster, but it's still very insane. With ChatGPT, you can automate tedious things, streamline workflows, and create new revenue streams. It can instantly format your content for SEO. It can determine the best pricing structure, ask itself to code stuff, translate, analyze, generate book summaries, book recommendations, generate response. When you aren't happy with the response, you can click regenerate response box and it'll remove the existing output and create a whole new one. You can ask it to make multiple responses, say five to 20. So if you wanted to say, oh, make me, make me a list of 15 to 20 things I can blog about, or five to 20, or whatever number you wanna say, instead of it generating one response, other than generate five, 10, 15, 20, depending on how many you ask it. You can ask it to make complete blogs with sources. So say for example, you know, you make a book, you gotta source all the people in the back end. This thing will source everything for you. You can ask ChatGPT to make a whole product descriptions. You can ask it to make a tailored social media post. You can ask it to make a personalized workout program, a whole diet program, including whatever macros and food selections you want. So you could say, make me a program that lasts two months and does push on Monday, Wednesday does uh, pull, and then Friday it does legs, and then have some sort of, some type of cardio on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and then make it a whole stretching routine every single day I can do in the morning. It'll just generate a whole thing depending on whatever, and then you can input your goals. Be like, oh, I wanna do this for strength training. I wanna do this for hypertrophy. I wanna do a, a rest or a deload, a whole type of two months. So it's very cool. Imagine you making it, you saying, oh, I wanted to create a diet. And let's say for example, in the book it said, a person was vegetarian and then say, oh, I can't eat bananas or watermelon or peanuts cause I have an allergic reaction to them or you know, you can literally just say, I want to hit this many calories. I want to and have this many carbs, fats, protein, and then include foods where it's like, oh, I want to eat more of these foods. And then some foods I can't eat because I'm allergic to instead of you taking 20, 30 minutes doing this stuff, it can create a whole list for you instantaneously without even a nutritionist or anything. So you just do it yourself and it does it instantaneously with whatever variables you want. Making money online with options that will be long lasting and long term. Ebooks, blog posts, YouTube videos, online courses, and software applications. Ask it to come up with 20 topics, talk more, make content about it a certain niche. Uh, prompt, ask it for a book outline, the best places to go for a digital detox. Then you can ask it to make more subtopics than going to make chapters on each in every single one. So I'm gonna list 15 to 20 different book outlines for the whole thing. Then you go into more details in each one, then you go on to each chapter. So it streamlines the process completely in a matter of seconds. Uh, YouTube, and that's a very good one. I really like the digital detox one. Cause like, I keep asking people this, most people, no matter what they do, you know, they try to make more money to start another business, try to do more. And it just, they do more of what they don't want to do. And it's more time answering phone calls, texts, emails, more time with the screens. I ask people, when's the last time you spent time detoxing from internet completely, no phone, no technology, no music, or at least no, you know, radio, no phone, no laptop, no Xbox, no video game system, just cut it off for a day, even three, four days, and just watch how much your life changes. But in this, it asks, you can do it for a blog where it's like the best places to have a digital detox, how to go over still communicating with certain people you have to communicate with and setting certain boundaries for things. But how to just go on a digital detox if you guys never tried that yet. Um, YouTube videos prompt, give me some ideas for a high search, low competition idea for a YouTube or YouTube video. Let's say you're on the beginner's guide to planting herbs prompt. Say generate an engaging and humorous YouTube video script for video number five, a, a beginner's plant or a beginner's guide to planting herbs. 
Blog posts, focus on affiliate marketing prompts. Give me five ideas for an affiliate marketing blog about drones. Did really well. Number one, drones for filmmakers. Number two, drones for travel, photography. Number three, drones for agriculture. Number four, drones for real estate. And number five, drones for construction. Then you can ask it, write an engaging blog post about five of the most popular drones in the market with a comprehensive comparison between all of them. Give their prices and write one paragraph each about the camera, battery life, and flight experience of all of them. Now granted, that might take you like 45 minutes to a couple hours to do all this stuff. And this stuff is now doing it instantaneously. And imagine like it being able to rank, compare all the ones with the different prices in an instant. Like that's just amazing. I know a lot of people, I think bloggers are still huge because number one, whenever you look up, oh, what's the best for blank, you look it up on Google and then you get a blogger post and you see all the different specs of it and how much they cost and the comparison. Then you might get an online review on YouTube where you watch someone review the whole type of product. So blogs are still very, very good, I think, for uh, just you know reading certain information. Creating a course structure prompt, please create a logical and engaging course structure with complete sections, lectures, quizzes for retirement, planning on how to plan for retirement. You become a superhuman freelancer. SEO blogs post charge $175 and takes a few minutes with ChatGP now. Blogs are, you know, blogs, YouTube videos, and now they have something called Pictory where it's an AI where imagine you get a you get a whole script from ChatGTP and then you plug it into Pictory. Pictory transfers the video into images. So it edits, it makes a whole video for you where all the words say it'll make a whole transitionary thing with images. And then on top of that, there's an AI now where you can implement the person with, that talks the whole thing. So it'll talk the whole script and it'll make the whole script for you in seconds. You plug that into another thing, it makes the whole video with images. And then you plug in another thing and it reads it all aloud, the script. So now you can make a video in three minutes when before it might take you days to do it. So that is very, very cool. Write a nonfiction book outline, $70 for freelancer. Ghost write a nonfiction book, $2,000 for 200 pages. Translate services from one language to another. This will still require proofreading and slight editing and only do this if you are fluent in both languages because obviously some things don't always mean the same in others. English to Spanish translation, 4,000 words is usually $150. Normally it takes hours, now it takes minutes. Create an advertisement using AIDA framework, $40. Prompt, using the AIDA framework, create an ad copy for a new drone. It has a battery and can take 4K pictures from a thousand meters away. Attention, interest, desire, and action. Um, creating the perfect product description using the AIDA framework. But you can literally tell it to do that and it'll do that completely. Act as a prompt, productly, or different prompts you could do. Productivity coach, startup founder, angel investor, language, get something. Negotiation coach, personal brand consultant, public speaking coach, personal financial advisor, technology expert, self-improvement coach, fitness instructor, career advisor, resume writer, mental health professional, digital privacy expert, book recommendations, stockbroker, astrophysicist, nutritionist, travel agent, pet expert, movie recommendations, DJ and home improvement expert. So you can literally do this in across a million niches now and have it pretty much all automated down to a T. And you don't even have to have your face in the videos if you do the one thing where, you know, you just have an AI voice or even you talk over the script and then you just have the, the chat TTP make the script and then you give the script to an AI maker that'll make a video for it. Limitations, ChatGTP's training data is cutoff date is 2021. It doesn't have access to current events after that date. I didn't really know that, so that is pretty cool. And then a bunch of the different prompts for you, you know, the more creative you are with it, I didn't realize how good it was until my sister started using it. Her company, they started using it for accounting. And, you know, when you start using it in different ways, or it's all about how you say it to make, you know, the prompts good or the scripts good. So if you say the right things, you'll get amazing stuff out of it. When you're a normal person, most people don't even know about it right now, let alone most people don't know how to use it the right way. Um, there are output limit for chat TTP. It'll hit the limit when it stops generating a response. If this happens, just type continue. It has difficulty understanding figurative language such as sarcasm or irony, which can lead to misunderstandings or inappropriate responses. I find that funny how it still doesn't have that human sarcasm and irony to it. The data was trained on can lead to bias. So whatever, whoever made it, it can be biased towards certain things. So in the future, it's definitely gonna be better or it's gonna get better every single day. And on top of that, 
um, you know, hopefully fix his limitations and have as many. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, it's your boy. Have a good day and peace.